Shalom, Israel. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rahakakwadash. I like to say double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and teach well, be a good example to us, brothers. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, men, women, and children spread abroad across the earth. Okay, I'd like to say Shalom. It's your brother Zakar Kassad coming to you with another uh, live lesson here coming from Bloomington, Indiana. Okay. And I'm going to speak about, uh, you know, I just got done watching the, uh, the brother from uh, Europe. I think his name is the brother uh, Yawakana, right? You know, um, he's speaking about the letter. But, um, Yeah, the brother Yawakana was speaking about the letter that uh, Osama bin Laden wrote to America, man. And they took it off the site, on the Guardian site. And it just shows you, man, you know. But we're going to bring out a little bit of edification, man, because everywhere you turn, Esau Edom, um, the so-called white man, is getting exposed for the devil that he is, man. Okay, now, let's get it straight. Not all so-called white people are Edomites because some of them may be uh, Israelites, okay, in these different lands because we were spread across the whole earth, man, through the diaspora because we went off according to the curses in uh, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. So not all of them are Edomites, but the bulk of them, that's what we say, man, the so-called white man is the devil. Your governments, your leaders, mostly those small hats over there in the land of Israel, they say that they're the Israelites. They say that they're the Jews, but they're not. Okay, they're being exposed. So this letter from Osama bin Laden to America, okay, they took it off the website, man. Okay, because people are exposing, they're, they're finally seeing who the devil is in the world, man. They're finally seeing who this who this devil is, man, and they're being exposed for their many atrocities, man. Okay? For their abominations. Okay? For their witchcrafts. Okay? Everything that they do, they they, they destroy everything, man. They literally are, are put on this earth to be a destroyer, man. Okay? This message is to you Israelites, man. Let me get that first. And I got a few notes. This message is only to you Israelites, man. 
the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? For the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Let's see if you can see it better on this side, man. Okay? 12 tribes, Judah, the head tribe, American blacks, right? Benjamin, the West Indian blacks, Levi, the Haitians, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cubans, Simeons, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, the Mayans, okay, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, the Mayans, Slakia, said that twice, it was like a skip, like Esau Edom been watching our videos and it skips, Gad, the Native American Indians, okay, and who came over here and stole the land from the Native American Indians, man, was not it the so-called white man, okay, and then he justified it through his so-called Christianity, man. Okay, they said uh, these people aren't Christian. They're actually not even human. They're savages. They're just, they're, they're part animals, so we're going to kill them all off. Gad still ain't, uh, Native American Indians still ain't got over that, man. They still suffer, just like the so-called Negroes, Latinos are suffering. Because of the so-called white man. It says Reuben, the Seminole Indians. Yeah, they're, they're suffering, man. All on these reservations. They got to fight for access to water fight for the access to uh, just basic necessities because this devil Esau Edom so-called white man took away their lands and then promised them certain things you know they 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 they, they set out decrees and was like well uh we'll give you this and we'll give you that and we'll give you this and we'll give you that well it was their land in the first place man you stole it from them man Asher the Colombians to Uruguay the Incas Issachar the Mexicans right Aztecs Neftali, Argentina to Chile. Okay, and you see a bunch of these tribes coming over right now and migrating to America, man. Okay, you see a bunch of them migrating here to the Americas as, as we speak to be delivered or to be, uh, to be destroyed in the thermonuclear fire that's going to come upon Babylon, a.k.a. America. Okay, so we're only preaching to you people here on this and we're preaching to the other heathen, so-called white man, the... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the Chinese, the Japanese, uh, the Arab, all, all of these other nations were preaching to you your downfall, man, because the Lord is about to come and destroy you, man, and put you into captivity. You're all going into captivity, man. Okay? Because, like the book of, uh, Psalms 83 says, okay, you all had a, you have, you all had a part in our downfall, man. Okay? But I got a few notes here. And we're going to start it off. Let's just start it off with that Psalms 83 first, man. Because this is why Esau Edom is being exposed. Those so-called Israelis over there. They always talking about anti-Semitism. Okay, it's not even called anti-Semitism. See, Esau Edom, he changes everything up. It's called Shem. Shem. And we can't be anti-Semitic. Anti-Shemitic. Anti-Shemitic. That's what they should be saying. Even our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay, who this world hates, okay, whom Nor Harari and, and Charles Schwab say, we don't need God anymore, we don't need Jesus, we don't need that. They're, they're Jews talking about they don't need God. Well, that's anti-Semitic also, because our Lord was a Shemite. Our Lord was from the tri from, from, uh, from, from the uh, loins of Shem. Okay, okay. So they hate the Lord. Then they call everybody else anti this and anti that. Okay, when really they're anti, man. 1948, when they came into the land over there, fighting with the Palestinians, okay, they, they would call it the state of Israel. They know for damn sure they're not the Israelites, man. They they have to know deep down in their heart. They're not they're not us. Okay? You got this actor. What's that actor? Some kind of weird ass, bugged out ass actor talking about uh he called us black tar babies and shit. Okay, so these crackers are being exposed on every single side, man. They're being exposed, man. And, you know, like the elder apostle, uh, and, and then the, the, some of the elders, the elder bishops, they've been trying to tell us, like, hey, just it's the edification time, edification, edification. Okay, so I'm going to try my best not to get on that. I'm going to get on these devil's ass today, but I'm going to try my best to edify, man, and to teach. 
okay, and going to the scriptures. I wrote a few scriptures down, but yo, ultimately, man, we just tired of being here. We tired of these devils, man. We tired of being here. We tired of suffering in front of this wicked rulership, okay? Okay, so uh, they had a, they had a, uh, it was a Osama bin Laden that wrote a, a letter to America, man, and it was up there since like 2000 and. Uh, six or something like that, 2000, one of the, 2000 something. But they just took it off. They took it off the internet, man. Right now, the brother Yawa Khanan, he told us that uh, in his video earlier that it's the number one searched item on Google right now. Everybody's looking for it, man. And everybody's going to have questions as to why did they, why did they take this down? And then everybody's going to come up with a, a, a conclusion in their mind as to, yeah, this guy's the fucking devil. He's destroying the earth, destroying the children, destroying everything, man. So I've been talking for a while. So let's get straight into the scriptures, man. This is Job. Look at I turned I turned right. I turned right to a scripture. That's not on my list, but we're gonna get this scripture anyway. Okay? This is Job 9 and 24. This is why the world is in such a horrible condition that is that it's in, man. Okay? Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, who's covering the faces of the judges thereof? Literally, man. It's not at all white people, really, man. Who, who, who controls the money? It's not at all white people. It's the stock market. Who controls all these things, man? It's all so-called uh, uh, Caucasian people, man. They control everything in, in this earth, man. The money system, the stock market, the school system in which they're teaching your children uh, that it's okay to be a uh, man with man and woman with woman, homosexuality. You got drag shows, after school programs, okay, after school satanic clubs. This is all against the Lord, man. Okay? So the world is finding out who the devil is, man. Okay? This is, this is Satan's playground, okay? Right here in America, man, okay? Where all you see is uh, abominations, idolatry, idol worship, adultery, okay? They make songs and they promote these songs talking about boyfriend number two, this and that, shake my ass and twerk, 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 this, that, and the other. That's all they push is, uh, is wickedness, man, here in this land. Okay, so the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, man, but not for much longer. Because this devil's being exposed, man. Let's go to the book. Let's get my notes out. I got a few notes. I definitely want to get that Isaiah 47. And I have that on the, let's start off with that. Let's start off with that. So we know that the earth is given into the Esau Edom, so-called white man. He, he's controlling everything, man. Okay, Shalom, Magan. Shalom to you, brother. Okay, Shalom to you, brother. The water for being with me. So this earth is given into the so-called white man. This devil. Okay, Esau Edom. And he's being exposed, man. He, he, it's almost like America's like a, it's like a, you know, that bitch that you, you used to be with this bitch in high school and shit, man. You know, she was hot. You know, then, you know, later on in life, you know, you see her, she on the streets and shit. She all drugged out, teeth missing and shit. You know, it's like rain came out, rain came down on, like she got a joker face, her makeup all drooping and shit, man. She she see you and she run up to you, you trying to avoid it. Yo, bitch, get away from me, bitch. She's like, I suck your dick with them snaggatoos and shit. Yeah, this bitch is, this bitch is through, man. America's through. You telling the bitch, get the fuck away from me, man. And that's how these nations are looking at her, man. Looking like a crackhead snaggatooth bitch. Okay? She used to be hot, but now the bitch is dumb. Okay? Now the bitch is through. Okay? She's through. She's being exposed for her wickedness, man. She's a wicked-ass bitch. And we hate this bitch, man. And, you know, I don't want to get too... You know, I'm, I, I've, been, I, I've, been, I've been hype all morning. I ain't going to get too... Lord willing, I don't get to, I want edification to come out, man. But I'm pissed off, man. You know? 
They took that damn letter from Osama bin Laden down, man. And I'm pissed off about that. I'm pissed off about a lot of stuff, man. I'm just ready for the Lord to come. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit. Okay? I'm tired of this shit. This is Isaiah chapter 47, and we're going to start at 1, man. You know? And it reads, Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, okay? Virgin daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. Sit your ass down in the dust, okay? Because you, all, you, all you've been doing is messing up everything. That's all you've been doing is messing up everything in the earth, man. Yeah, Shalom, brother. Yeah, man. That's all this devil's been doing, man. Mess up the water. Okay, you got to you gotta take showers with the water. The water got forever chemicals in it. Fluoride and shit, man. Okay, messing up the food. The FDA approves all types of things that are in your food. Rat poison and shit in your food. And you still got to, you know. That's why you must pray over your food. Because literally everything that we eat is poison also. And it's got drugs in it, man. Okay. They poison the air. Everything is mourning. Everything is in mourning. You got all types of earthquakes and things happening, man. The earth is uh, fighting against this devil cracker, man. Everybody's pissed off about it, man. The animals are mourning. The animals are in zoos and shit, man. We can't wait for the Lord lets loose and lets those animals loose and they rip some of you cracker motherfuckers up, man. See, I said I wasn't crazy. That's just how I feel, man. You see? Come down and sit in the dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, you was really nice in high school. You was really pretty. You know, nice, perky little, you know, poking out. Everybody wanted to hit that. But now this bitch is a damn crackhead, man, on the streets. Okay? L literally, America's on drugs, man. This place is a, a, a drug addict place, man. Like, uh, nine out of ten Americans are on drugs, man. You got Walgreens every single, on every corner. You got, uh, CVS on every corner. These, these pharmacias. You go into that word pharmacia, and it literally goes into, uh, 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 witchcraft, really, man. A witch who brews up spells, man. And that's what these devils do. They brew up spells, man. You see what I'm saying? So we're living in a place where, you know, hey, it's 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 it's, a, it's just full of drug addicts. Drugs are in the food. You got Taco Bell, McDonald's, uh, White Castles, and all types of weird shit. That 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 that, that, uh, that uh, you know fills your body with all types of parasites. You know. That, you know, and, and, you know, the food that they get, Doritos and, and uh, Fagos and everything, man. All these things are uh, are are made to uh, destroy the body, really, man. Okay. Yeah, you better turn the other way. This dude was about to walk down here. They don't want to walk down here. See, nobody wants to hear the word, man. Yeah, take your ass that way then, man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah you ain't want to walk down that road. You ain't want to walk down here. Hey, that's good, man. Take your ass the other way, then. Yep. Take your ass the other way. You damn crackers are being exposed, man. This is Isaiah 47 and 2. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover the locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. And you're being uncovered, man. Everybody's looking at America like, man, this bitch is... Something ain't right. This is evil. This is wicked. Everything is wicked here. You got man with man. They, they they promote Satanism. They're trying to uh they're trying to legalize pedophilia. It's called like the maps. Minor minor attracted people persons or some shit like that. You got people marrying the color pink, marrying a dog. People able to kids able to uh change their sex. Kids able to be called a cat, you know, dress up as a cat when they go to school. The teachers got to call them a cat name. They got fucking uh, cat litter at their house and shit. 
people marrying a tree. This is my favorite tree. I'm going to marry They're kissing the tree and shit. Marrying different colors. Marrying a, a dog or some shit. They, they legalize bestiality in some of these states, man. So America's that wicked-ass place, man. Okay, it's the devil's playground. Where the devil roams around, man. Around every single corner, man. You can find wickedness here, man. It's so wicked. It's so damn wicked, man. You know? <laughs> it's so damn wicked, it's hard to bear. Like Elder Yasuwama said the other day, man, we just ready to get out of here. I'm, we just sick. We tired. We ready to go, man. You see what I'm saying? It says, verse 3, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and will not meet thee as a man. Okay, so the Lord is going to take vengeance on this place. And, and, and America is very bucket naked right now, man. Naked. Okay, everybody's looking up on you for, you, for your many sins and atrocities, man. You see, all, all types of Native American kids being found up under these so-called Catholic churches, man. Okay, we ain't forgot about all that, man. Okay. Over in Florida or somewhere in Cali, I think they're trying to uh, take away uh, teaching about slavery and teaching about slavery in their school. They're trying to say the slaves benefited from being in slavery, man. Okay, so everybody's looking upon this place as wicked atrocities, man. This is a wicked, evil fucking place, man. And only only way it's going to be healed is if the Lord purges this place with thermonuclear warheads, man. That's the only way it can be purged, man. That's the only way it can be healed if the Lord purges it with thermonuclear warheads, man. Okay? And we're waiting for the Lord to do his bidding to do that, man. To get his glory. We look for a new heavens and a new earth will and dwell of righteous, righteousness. There's nothing righteous about America, man. The devil's playground, man, where the devil roams around this bitch. Okay, and, and like the movie uh, with Denzel Washington, the demons jumping one person to the next and the next and the next, and they looking at you. Okay, this is the devil's playground, man, where everything goes, man. Let's get a few more scriptures. Let's get a few more scriptures. Yeah, let's finish that Isaiah 47 first. It says, I'll skip down to five. It says, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness. Yeah, this place is dark, man. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms, man. Yeah, because like, like I said, man, a little parable. Hey, America used to be a, 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 a really good looking lady, man. But now she's one of these homeless crackheads in the streets, man. You know? <laughs> She's like a homeless crackhead in the streets now, man. You know? And all, all the nations are looking at her like, ugh. Ugh, look at this bitch. This bitch is disgusting. Drooling. You know? Sitting in the corner somewhere. You you trying to avoid her. Like, oh, this bitch again. You you trying to walk by. Get, get her away from me. Get her away. You know, you trying to do everything you can to, to, to not even look at her. She come up running to you. Hey, you remember me? alcohol all on her breath through you push the bitch down get off of me ho you see snag a tooth that's america man you, you you're being you're being uh uncovered man all the nations are looking at you looking at you man okay it says verse six i was wroth with my people i have polluted mine in er inheritance and given them into thine hand Thou didst show them no mercy. Yeah, man. Esau Edom, so-called white man, he didn't show us no mercy, man. So-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, this cracker ain't showed you no mercy, man. Okay, he got you in the ghettos. He give you Section 8, kick the man out the house. That's genocide when you kick the man out the house, man. All these kids are growing up wild bulls in the net, pretty much, man. Okay, these kids are growing up without a, uh, without a father figure, man. Going to jail by the time they're 17, 16, 17, 18 years old, man. They're emotional, especially these young men. Okay, because they grew up around a, 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 a nigga woman that, that just cursed and this, that, and the other. Jake woman. She's loud, obnoxious. She get around people and she's loud as fuck all the time, man. She don't know how to control herself. Okay, sleeping with all types of men. How many, you know, you brothers, you, you, you grow up and, and, and you realize these women... 
Hey, they didn't had all types of men in the house, man. You know, and then when the white man come around for the Section 8 visits and, you know, you got to get rid of the pictures of your father or you get rid of the pictures of, of this, that, and the other, man. You got to hide them, hide the pictures in the closet until they leave. That's genocide, man. Okay? You're destroying a nation when you take away the fathers, man. You know, the father plays a key role in a young man, a, a young man's life, man. And, and a young woman's life, man. It's, it's about discipline, man. It's about respect, accountability, man. Okay, the woman don't teach no accountability. So Esau, Edom, he, he, he pushes these laws, these unrighteous decrees that take the man out the house. Therefore, the woman's there and she's getting this uh, Section 8 and, and this HUD housing and, oh, I don't need no man and all this other bullshit. Well, where's feminism got you now, man? Okay? Where's feminism done for you? And what did, who, who created the phys feminism situation, man? The so-called white man created it, man. Okay? Destroying our families, man. That's genocide, man. That's a genocide on the people, man. The the prisons and the jail cells are filled with Jake, man. Okay? Filled up with Jake. That didn't that didn't grow up without a father, man. All emotional, man. You see what I'm saying? So like the scriptures say, Isaiah 47 and 6, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient. Hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke, man? Yeah. Okay. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither didst thou remember the latter end of it, man. Okay. You see? So you didn't remember your latter end, man. That's the problem with America. They think that they're going to go on forever. Everything's going to be peaches and cream. Everything's going to be great. They think the dollar's going to live on forever. They think this place is just going to keep on going and keep on going like the Energizer Bunny. But just like Rome, just like all these other kingdoms, America has a death date, man. It has a date that it's going to go and fall, man. Okay? There's no kingdom that goes on forever, man. You know? Just like in the movie, was that Chucky? Whenever uh, that dude, that witch, <laughs> that witch doctor, he told Chucky, he said, Did you have a date with, no, that Chucky told him. He said, you got a date with death. Yeah, that's a, America got a date with death, man. Okay? Said so long, John, after he killed him. Remember that shit, man? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord about to put an end to America, man. You know? And we can't wait, man. Because this, this, this is a place of abominations of the earth, man. Going back to that Revelations chapter 17, man. Okay? This place is wicked and filthy, man. We can't stand it here, man. We can't stand just waking up in here. You know, we thankful, thank the Lord that we wake up here. We got to go to work. You subject to an alarm. And, 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 and. You just want to throw the motherfucker down, man. Fucking hate this place, man. Okay, if you if you in the spirit, if you loving this shit, man, you 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 you, know, you in a wicked spirit, man. Okay, Shalom, my God. Yeah, man. Yeah, and that's the truth, though. Let me get that. The brother Magan, Hamath, put up Mark three and twenty seven. No man can enter into a, a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man. Then he would spoil his house. And that's what they did to us, man. They take take our men away, man. Then they spoiled our house. Okay? Gave us ghettos. Oh, you I'll give you section A, but you can't you can't move anywhere besides here. You can't eat any other food besides this food here. Okay, this government government food, you know? These are uh, Oodles and noodles and uh, this government cheese, man. You know? That's genocide on the people, man. Okay? That's that Psalms 2. Okay? Uh, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us, man. Their cords, our cords are to the Lord. They don't want nothing to do with the Lord, man. That's why they gave you white man Jesus. Now, you know, the, 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 the truth of the matter is they thought you Negroes, Latino, they thought us. 
so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let me get that right. So-called, because we're Israelites. They thought we were so stupid that we would never read the Bible, man. That we would never figure it out. They, 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 they thought they put us in a trick bag. And you know the saying in the earth, uh, if you ever wanted to hide anything from a nigga, hide it in a book, man. And that's the truth still to this day. Our people don't read nothing, man. They don't read the back of the food that they eat or nothing. They just gobble, 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 gobble. Go in the refrigerator every five minutes. They just ate, look in the refrigerator again. Ain't nothing in that motherfucker. You just ate five minutes ago, man. Eat again. Let's eat something else again. It's, that's why our people are overweight and obese, man. Because those parasites that Esau eat the devil-ass white man and put in their food, man. They sitting there looking in the refrigerator every five minutes, man. They can't even stop. It's a fucking disease, man. So definitely, they they bind the strong man. They've taken away discipline from our people. That's why whenever you tell our people about the Lord and tell them about uh, situations like you ain't supposed to eat that, you ain't supposed to eat that, they're like, nah, nah. They get the heck away from me, all holier than thou ass nigga. Oh. You know, you too uptight, you too this, that, and other, man. Why are you always talking about God all the time? Because they're, they've given on to Satan already, man. So this is the devil's playground. This is where, they crack, this is where that damn devil plays, man. Okay, plays on your mind, plays on your emotion, plays on everything, man. And a lot of people have already gone over to the side of Satan, especially you women, man. Okay, so you you definitely won't hear this. You're living in the darkness, and you like that dark. You like a, you like a zombie. You like a zombie. It's a zombie land, man. Everybody's on phones and shit. They walking around, walking in the middle of the street, can't even see nothing. The car hit their ass. Well, good job, man. Good. That's what you fucking get, man. Okay. Everybody got smarts, but they ain't got no smarts, man. Everybody got a, a phone in their hand, but they dumb as fuck, man. Like uh, Hosea four and six, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Okay. They're destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. All they got, all they want to do is a uh, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, man. Okay? Shaking their ass. Twerk, 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 twerk. Rap music. Oh, I got my AK. I got my Mollies and Percocets and this, that, and the other and shit, man. All this shit is genocide against our people, man. Okay? But this, this devil is being exposed, man. Okay? He's being exposed. Let's get some of these scripts that I got. I damn near want to get that, uh... We gonna get that Psalms. Let's go in some of these Psalms. But yeah, man, this devil's being exposed. Yep. Let's go into that. Uh, let's go into that Nahum, like the brother did. I, I wrote some notes down whenever I be, you know, whenever I be watching the lessons. Sometimes I write a few notes, and you know, you go into them and see where the spirit takes you, man. You know. Yeah, man. But this is the word. This is this is the place where the devil roams, man. Believe that. Then we are gonna get some of that Obadiah. Man, I gotta go to work today and shit, man. They uh mandatory overtime and shit, man, because you know the economy and everything else. These people are just through, man. Everything is through. That's why we just can't wait to get the fuck out of here, man. You know, this is the only day I get to spend with my kids, but I got a mandatory overtime. I hate these devils, man, with a passion, man. You know, what, what did King David say, man? You know, that Psalms 139, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies, man. I fucking hate these people, man. With perfect hatred, man. It's just boiling in my... If the Lord ever give me that spiritual power, it's going to be over with, man. It's gonna be over. I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out a bunch of you people, man. But we gotta wait. This is the book of Nahum, chapter three, in the in the brother, the elder, uh, uh and he was going into this also, man. Okay. This is Nahum chapter three and one. It says, "Woe to the bloody city! It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not, man. The prey, who's the prey, man? Okay, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, man. Okay, the prey departeth not, man. It says, the noise of the whip and the noise of rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots 
the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain, okay, and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses, man. Yeah. Okay, that's the bloody city, aka America, Babylon, man. Okay. And it was uh, Nineveh back then. Um, but, hey, the Lord said he requires that which is past. Okay. These people are being regenerated into the earth, reincarnated back into the earth. Okay, that's 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 why they're the same people who hated the Lord, who still hate the Lord, and they hate his followers, man. Okay. So this is a bloody city, man. All types of uh Native American, uh Latinos, and, and so called Negroes, man. Blood is is right here in this land, man. Crying unto the Lord. Their blood is crying unto the Lord, man. Okay? What's up, little squirrel? Little squirrel over there. Yeah, everybody's crying unto the Lord, man. Everything is crying unto the Lord. You can go. I ain't gonna mess with you, buddy. Look at him. He right there. He's like five feet away from me. Just looking at me. He got one of them nuts in his mouth. Yeah, man. It says, Nineveh chapter, or Nahum chapter 3 and 4, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that sells nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, man, yeah. Through her witchcrafts, man. You go into that witchcrafts of America, man. That's, uh, there are many spells, man. They're, they're drugs. They're human trafficking. They're, uh, bohemian groves and shit like that. Okay. You know, liquor store on every single corner. Everything that this devil pushes is witchcraft and, and evil and wicked against the Lord. Man with man and woman with woman. Okay. Christianity, uh, Islam, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, the third day of vintages or whatever the hell that stuff's called. All these things are witchcrafts, man. They're against the Lord. They constantly break the bands of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay, you see these people, uh, they, they get 501c3s in these different churches. And they become mega churches because they get the 501c3. They can only teach what, 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 what the government wants them to teach, man. Therefore, everybody's being deceived, man. Everybody's being deceived that the Lord is the so-called white man. Everybody's being deceived that the Lord is all about prosperity. Like he going to crack the clouds and he going to come and give you a hug and give you a box of Skittles or some shit. The scriptures clearly tell you, man, when the Lord comes back, he's come not to bring peace on the earth, but a spirit. Okay? So this place is full of witchcrafts, man. And the Lord is against witchcraft. We got a, a law that, you know, the, the scriptures tell us to uh, suffer not a witch to live, man. Okay? Suffer not a witch to live. In America, this 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 damn whore, this harlot, is a witch, man. So the Lord's not gonna let her live, man. Nor the people that join onto her, man. Everybody's gonna get destroyed, man. Okay? Let me read that Nahum 3 and 4 again. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts. The mistress of witchcrafts, man. Okay? That sell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, man. Okay? Yeah, families through her witchcrafts, man. You see? The spells that she put on people, man. Yep. Told a black woman, oh, you don't need a man. We give you section 8. We'll pay for everything for you. You don't need to work for nothing. That's an example. Selling families through her witchcrafts, man. Okay? Totally taking a man out of the house. Okay? Then they want to push on your children. Uh, that that uh, a, ch a child can change his sex, man. That's an abomination against the Lord, man. Kid come out as a boy, but you want to change it into a girl. And then if, you, if, if the kid... 
wants to do it and the parents don't want to do it, they can take your kids away from you, man. That's, a, that's an abomination. So this place has to go, man. This place is the devil's playground. This place is where the devil roam at, man. Okay, everything America represents is against the Lord, man. Okay. That reminds me of a scripture. Let's let's skip around real quick. Let's get that Second Thessalonians. And I got that on my list too. I know I do. I ain't even got to look at the list. And this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. I know it's one of Elder Yashawama's favorite scriptures. Because it just it explains it, man. Because these people think that they're God, man. Okay? They're like, we don't need... What did Noah Harari and the WEF say? We don't need God, man. Fucking devils, man. We don't need God anymore. Okay? That's, that's an anti-Semitic statement, man. Okay? And you know, I'm at the point right now, I don't even care if they take the videos down. I don't give a fuck, man. All I'm going to do is make another one. Okay, you can keep trying to take it down. We'll make another one. Okay, we're going to expose you damn devils, man. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. It says, in 3, and it says, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day should not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. And that man of sin, just like the uh, Hezbollah leader and uh, hum, what's those dudes over there? You know, that, that war that's going on with Israel and... Uh, was it Gaza or something? Something like that. One of them leaders over there called America the Great Satan, man. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I wanted to name my le lesson, but fuck it, man. Yeah, yeah, America is the Great Satan, man. Everything this place represents is, uh, is against the Lord. And we're going to read it. Okay? It says, verse 4, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. What does oppose mean? Okay, that's the difference between negative and positive. Everything here is wicked, so on the negative side, but the Lord is positive. It says, and exalteth himself. That means, hey, up and down. They look down on God and his people. They're like, man, we can do it better. We can do it better than God. We can make man with man and woman with woman. We can let them get married. Matter of fact, we're going to go as far as uh, making babies in a lab. We don't even need a woman anymore. Look that up, man. Matter of fact, we're going to give them these Elon Musk uh, uh, brain chip interfaces in which, you know, can make people walk again and this, that, and the other. We don't even need God. We can make people walk again. We can make people, uh, you know, put computers in people's bodies so, so they don't even need a phone or they don't need this. They don't need that. We can make them into cyborgs. Okay. That's what Revelations chapter 13 and 16 is all about, man. That mark of the beast. They oppose and exalted themselves above everything that is called Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Let me read that again. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Or 2 Thessalonians uh, 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. So that he is God, sit up in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, man. And that's what this devil does, man. He's like, no, we don't need God. We, we, we're we God now. Okay? We don't need the Most High. The Most High didn't do it good enough. This, this kid was born. He's born a little boy. Well, guess what, man? Uh, we can make him into a girl. And if his parents say anything about it, okay, we're going to take him away from his parents and put him into a, a situation that's better. Okay? That's what they're doing here in America, man. This is the devil's playground, man. It's where the devil roams. Everything against the Most High, man. And these crackers don't even realize the devil works for the Most High. Okay? He got him in a trick bag. You see what I'm saying? He got him in a trick bag. They think that they're making these moves. They think that they're creating this Mark of the Beast. This brain chip interface. They think that they're doing it. They think through their knowledge and their wisdom, like the scriptures say... Was it in Isaiah? We're going to get that too. Hey, they think that they're doing it all, man. But the Lord is setting them up. Just like he said in the book of, uh, is that, uh, what, what do you say? Uh, uh, I have raised up Pharaoh just to show my power. Well, America's that new Pharaoh, man. 
He's raised these devils up, these crackers up, just to show his power, just to knock them back to the ground, man. And that's what's happening, man. Everybody's watching you and seeing you being exposed from all the witchcraft that you do, man. You're wicked and evil, man. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4, again, it says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, Showing himself that he is God, man. Yeah. He want to sit in the temple of God. And where's the temple? It's in us, man. In the Israelites, in the elect. The Lord said he's going to dwell within us, man. They got over there in the land of Israel. They're trying to build a third temple. They, they are wicked as hell, man. Third temple already being built through us. These devil crackers are so stupid. They don't even know the Lord put them in a trick bag, man. Okay. Let me finish that up. Let me skip down to number seven. And it says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Now, who's letting this cracker do all these things, man? The Most High is letting him do it, man. He's letting him get away with this and letting him get away with that, but he's about to be taken out of the way, man. Okay? He's about to be taken out of the way, man. It says, verse 8, here's the point, and then shall that wicked be revealed. And who's that wicked? Esau, Edom, so-called white man. He's being revealed, man. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Yeah, Esau, Edom, you got the Elon Musk microchip, the, the brain thing. Those are power and signs and lying wonders. Those are signs and miracles. Okay? Oh, we can make you walk again. We can make the blind see again. We can do all these things. The Lord has told us about this, that this devil would try to do these things, man. That he would exalt himself. Hey, to, talking about, hey, we don't need God no more. We can make, uh, we're going to become the gods now. We can make people walk again. We can make them see again if they're blind. Okay? We can bring them back to life. We don't need the most high. That's what they say, man. Not knowing that they, they're in a trick bag, man. Okay? They're in a total trick bag. Look at that squirrel again. You can come over here, bud. I ain't gonna mess with you, man. That's all good, man. That makes me want to bring up something real quick. Let me get this, uh, let me finish up this Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk. No, that's not Habakkuk. What's up, man? Go, man. Go. I ain't messing with you, dude. Chill out. Hey, he probably just want to hear the scriptures too. Little squirrel keep rolling by. He literally like four feet away from me, right behind the camera, because it ain't that much space in between us. But uh, yeah, it says Nahum, Slaki, Nahum, going back to Nahum, chapter three and five, and it says, "Behold, I am against thee," saith the Lord of hosts. It says, "Behold, I am against thee," saith the Lord of hosts. And I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. Yeah, all these kingdoms of the earth are looking at you, devil. You devils, man. They're like, yeah, this is the devil that the Bible speaks of. This is him. This is him. That's why I named the lesson, man. Hey, the devil's playground, a.k.a. America. Okay? All the nations are seeing your shame. Okay, that's why when you finally go down, they're going to be upset. They're going to be like, damn, man, we can't get no money no more. Okay? Because, you, you you know, all these people and you have gotten rich through the traffic, man. Okay, what's that, Isaiah? Let's see if we can pull that up real quick. What's that, Isaiah? definitely want to get that Isaiah and I already had that Isaiah 47 I think we hit that already let's hit that Isaiah uh, let's hit that Isaiah let me see then we're gonna hit that revelations yeah this is the devil's playground man
Yeah, this is Isaiah 14. Yep. You're a devil, man. This is a devil, man. And he's being exposed too, man. It says Isaiah 14. Woo-wee. Yeah, man. And let me let me pull that. Let me let me get this Isaiah 14. Because what I say over here. Uh yeah, this is Isaiah 14. And let me see. And I want to get Isaiah 13. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah. Chapter 14. And 4. And it reads. It says, Thou... It says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, against America, man. And say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased, and, and, and America is halting, man. It's coming to a halt, okay? Everybody's looking upon this wickedness of this place, and everybody's like, ugh. You see the, 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 the BRICS nations are forming, man. The dollar's crashing as we speak. You know, you got people who are homeless. More homelessness is picking up. Like I said, they're making us come in on this Saturday because they ain't got enough workers, man. Okay? They try to act like it's this, that, and the other. Maybe mandatory Saturdays. I'm the only day that I get to see my kids. But it, it, it's all good, man. Okay? Because we're watching this place fall, man. We're watching this place crumble to the ground, man. This place ain't going to be around too much longer, man. Okay? So this place is ceasing. It's, it's like a car. You know, a car that's, uh, you, you know, it's run out of gas. It's all putting. Put, 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 put. Uh, they feet all the way to the, uh, <laughs> all the way to the, uh, <laughs> to the ground on the pedal. The motherfucker put, 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 put. And that's America for you, Jack. This place is on its last leg, man. You know, I seen a cop. I, hey, there's a cop coming right here. Just reminded me last night when I was coming from work, I seen a fucking cop car that had a perdido, man. <laughs> The fucking, the lights, <laughs> the light, <laughs> they had one light on one side and the other light, that, and then the yellow light at the bottom, you know, the bottom lights, both lights, the the, the, uh, the headlight and the, uh, and the other light, you know, was out, you know what I'm saying? Only one side was on <laughs> and they almost ran through a stoplight because I thought they was going to hit me. It was green for me and then this car was, I didn't even know it was a cop car until it got close. I was like, these motherfuckers look like they about to run through the light, man. And I had to look over. <laughs> and it was a damn cop, man. I was like, damn, how the fuck the cop don't got enough money to pay for the lights, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, this place is coming to a halt, man. And I got happy. I was thinking about it for a minute. I'm like, how the hell these people pull people over for having perdiddles? But this damn cop car got a perdiddle, man. <laughs> That's how you know America's falling, man. This place is, this place is through, you know? Homelessness picking up, everybody in the streets. You know, these people who walk past the homeless. Oh, I got a 401k and uh, this, that, and the other. All that shit's about to be through, man. Okay? America is going to fall, man. It's over with. OV for this place, man. Okay? The, the Lord is destroying it, man. Brick by brick, inch by inch, man. Okay? This place is getting exposed, man. It says, Isaiah 14 and 4. It says, How have the oppressors ceased, the golden city ceased? The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. And that's what they've done to us, man. Not only during slavery, before the so called, like, before, uh, before uh, us so called Negroes came over here in slavery. OK, they was oppressing our people, uh, the so-called Mexicans and uh, Native Americans. They were in this land already, man. OK. You know, they, they was in slavery in different parts of Southern uh, America, South America. OK. 
oppressing our people then. Then they brought us over here on slavery and oppressed our people even more. Okay? Up until this day, we still in slavery, man. You got a social security card. You got to get a certain credit score to get a house and these, that. All this weak-ass shit. They let the white man get, get it before you. And they let these Arabs and everybody else get it before you, man. So we oppressed here, man. But this place is coming to a halt, man. Okay? And we rejoicing. It says, Isaiah 14 and 6, He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke hung us up from trees. Okay? Beat our backs with whips. Okay? Then they want us to forget about it, man. They want to erase uh, slavery out of the out of the history when they're teaching the kids, man. Why they want to erase it? Because they because they, people are finding out that they're fucking wicked, man. Oh, that was my forefathers. That wasn't us. Well, you are your forefathers, man. Why do you think racism still exists? You can't get away with it, man. It's because you are your forefathers. You still have that same spirit of your forefathers, man. So you can't get away with it, man. Okay? It says, He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth, man. Yeah, so you're being persecuted. That's why they call it an everything anti-Semitic. Everything's anti-Semitic. Anti this, anti that. That's why they hurry up and took that letter from uh, Bin Laden down from the, from the internet, man. He's calling you crackers out. Because you're wicked, man. You've always been wicked, man. Okay? It says, verse 7, the earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. So we can't wait till you devils get taken out by the Lord, man. And he's the only one that can take you out. He's the only one that's going to be able to do it, man, because we can't do nothing. We're a worm, like Isaiah 40, 41 says. He calls us a worm. Fear not thou worm Jacob. I will help thee. We, we need the help of the Lord. We can't do nothing ourselves. We don't got no army. We ain't got nothing. The Lord is going to come and take you out, man. Okay? And everything's going to be rejoicing when the Lord comes, man. Listen to this. It says, the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Every, everybody's going to be breaking forth into singing, man. Because of this bitch, America, hey, she's going to go out of power, man. It says, yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us, man. Yeah, even the trees going to rejoice, man. That reminds me of the scripture in Romans, man. Chapter, uh, is it chapter eight or nine? The book of Romans chapter, uh, when it says, uh, the, the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God, man. Okay, so everything's waiting, man. Everything is waiting for you devils to go down, man. Okay. Let me get that real quick. This is Romans chapter 8 and 18. And it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be re revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. So, hey, we waiting. The animals waiting. Everything is waiting. The trees are waiting. The bugs is waiting. I, I guarantee bacteria is waiting for you crackers to go out of power, man. Everything's waiting for you devils to get out of power because you, you destroy everything, man. You mixing different foods, different fruits and shit. Mixing different animals. You got animals in cages. Okay, water polluted. You got forever chemicals in the water, man. Everything is polluted here, man. Like the book of Micah ch chapter 2 and 10 tells us, hey, it is polluted. It will destroy you even with a, cert a sore destruction, man. So this place is polluted, man. And you're being you're being exposed for your pollution, for your, for your wicked abominations, man. Everybody's looking at America. Everybody's like, oh, this bitch is ugly. This bitch used to be hot, but now she's through. Snag a tooth and shit. Uh, makeup dripping all down. Through, man. It says, verse 20, 
Romans 8 and 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. So the Lord has uh, made us subject to this vanity, man, because we went off, man. You know? You know, like uh, whenever Adam, and, or basically through her, through Eve, we all die, man, like the scriptures say. And then we went off again, you know, so, so it added to that affliction, man. Okay, that's why you got the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Okay, so we're, we're subject to this curse, to these, this, uh, you know, like the scriptures say in the De Deuteronomy, they should be the head and you should be the tail, man. So we're, we're, we're subject to this bullshit rulership, but not for long, man. All the signs are pointing to the coming of our Lord. Okay, he's going to come in and, and destroy this place and set up a new kingdom, man. And that's what we're looking for, man. That's what we, we yearn for, man. Our, our, our hearts, our very being, our whole bodies is, is yearning for the Lord to come and, and, and rescue us from this place, man. Okay, that's, that's all we want. That's all we think about, man, is the Lord's return. Okay? That's all we're thinking about, man. Man, I got so many damn scripts. I ain't even getting them all. Let's get another one real quick. Going back. Let's skip over here. This is Isaiah. Yep. Yep. Isaiah 14. Go back to Isaiah 14. And, uh, I go back to nine. It says, hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming. Yeah, you go. Hey, <laughs> them thermonuclear missiles spoke about in the book of Joel. Spoke about all throughout the scriptures. Right? You got Joel. You got, uh, what's that? Uh, Joel, Ezekiel, Zechariah. It's all talking about them nukes hitting your bitch ass, man. You know? <laughs> Let's get a few of these nuke scriptures real quick. Let's get this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, everybody got nukes pointed towards you, devil, devils, man. Damn, what's up, buddy? You keep walking by me. He must like the scriptures, man. See, even the animals like the scriptures coming out, man. Yeah, the animals love the scripts, man. You see? Yeah, you're gonna be you gonna be through. You people gonna be through, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. You're gonna be through. The Lord Lord is Lord is gonna come back, man, and, and tear you motherfuckers up. This is uh the book of Zechariah, just to, touching on those nukes, man. Okay? Now what can do this to a person, man? Okay. What can do this at the at a person? This is uh, Zechariah chapter 14. And it says, at his second coming, the Lord will fight for Israel, man. So the Lord is coming to fight for Israel. It says, behold, verse 1, Zechariah 14, verse 1 through, but I, I, the point is in uh, verse 12, right? But let me read it. I'll skip around. It says, Isaiah, or Zechariah, Salachia, chapter 14, and one, it says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. Yeah, so the Lord already took us out. Okay, and spread us different places, man. 70 AD and Titus, you know. And even before that, we kept going in different captivities, kept going off. But this time the Lord is going to get us, put us in the right place, man. Okay, and he's going to fight against you damn devils that fought against us, man. Okay, going back to uh, Psalms 83, man. Okay. It says, Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations, 
And when he fought in the day of battle, as when he fought in the day of battle, and his feet shall stand in the day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave it in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half toward the south. Okay, and ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal. Yeah, ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. And the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. So the Lord's going to gather his saints together and we're going to fight against these devil crackers eventually, man. Okay, after we get those new bodies, man. Okay. And, and even before that, hey, the Lord going to raise Judah up. And, hey, Judah going to be like a terror onto these devils, man. And you see it already happening. You got you got Judah running into these stores. You know, these stores can't even do nothing to them and shit. The stores got to just let them steal. You know, they coming in there like 20, 30 deep and shit, stealing from you damn devils, man. Okay? All these stores are shutting down. They can't afford it no more. You know, the insurance policy won't afford it no more. Okay, so Judah is already being raised up to be a terror, man. But, hey, in that day, okay, the Lord's also going to let us fight against you damn devils. And we're going to take your ass into captivity, man. Okay? It says... Let me get to the point. Let me get to the point. The point is <laughs> that fire, man. It says, Zechariah 14... No, I gotta get I gotta get the rest of that, man. I gotta get the rest of that. Let me go to Zechariah 14 and 6. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark, but it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, not day nor night, but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light, and it shall be in that day that living water shall go out of Jerusalem, half of them toward the former sea, and half of them toward the hinder sea. In summer and in winter shall it be, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and the day shall be there. Be it says, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. That's right, man. Okay, and all the land shall be turned as a plain from Geba to Remen, south of Jerusalem. And it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate unto the corner gate and from the tower of Hanau unto the king's wine presses. And men shall cleave and men shall dwell in it and there shall be no more utter destruction but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. Man, so the Lord is going to bring his people into that land over in the east, man. And which these damn cracker devils, they try to act like they're, our, they're the people. But, hey, the Lord said it ain't going to be no more destruction, man. Okay? Whenever his people come back there, ain't going to be no more destruction. Ain't going to be no more wars, Bishop Nate. Ain't going to be none of that bullshit, man. Okay? The Lord's going to gather his people and bring them back to the East Coast, man. And he's going to set fire on this fucking place, man. Let's get it, man. Zechariah 14 and 12. And... This shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Okay, and who fought against Jerusalem? All you devils fought against Jerusalem, man. All you cracker devils did, man. Let's go back to the book of Psalms. And let me just read a few of them real quick. This is Psalms 83. Psalms 83. And it reads, verse 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace. And be not still, oh God. That's what we want. We want the Lord to, to, to go to work, man. It's like, you know, we, we, we hold his hand. We're like, Lord, please, man. We looking at him and shit like a little baby. Like, you know how you got your, your hand is uh, it's built up to a fist and your kids try to your kids try to pull the uh, fingers out and shit. <laughs> They're like, ah, they're struggling. Well, that's how we do in the Lord. Like, Lord, pulling the, pulling his Pulling his fingers out like, Lord, please. We pulling that finger and pulling that finger, trying to pull him back. Come on, Lord, get him for us. Get him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, man, we want the Lord to go fight these people for us, man. They're trying to kill us, man. It says, 
Psalms 83 and 1, keep not thou silence, O God, Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Man, yeah, all these people that hate the Lord, they have lifted up the head, meaning they're very proud, man. Going back to that second Thessalonians who exhausted himself above all that is called God, man, or that is worship. You see what I'm saying? It says, verse 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy handiwoods. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, man. Yeah, they, they and, and thy people, uh, meaning the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They have taken crafty counsel against our people, man. Okay? They literally have taken crafty... They literally sit down and, and, and come up with ways to further put us in, in destruction and oppression, man. They literally do this. Okay? It says... They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, Psalms 83 and 3, and consulted against thy hidden ones, Verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's why this place is filled with devils, man. Okay, because, yeah, they, they cut you off. How do they cut you off from being a nation? Well, they give you uh, Jesus Christ. They do this. They give you all the Islam, Buddha, Egyptology, uh, all this bullshit, man. Okay. They tell you that the Lord is a so-called white man. They do. They cut you off from being a nation. Okay, and it clearly tells you in Revelations chapter 1 and 13 and 14 on down what color our Lord is, man. Okay, but but they, they put you they put all types of rap music in front of you, all types of booty shaking videos, uh, this uh, over sexualization. Okay, you scrolling through a website or you know, your, your Instagram or your Facebook or whatever. And that's all you see is a bunch of titties popping out and booties everywhere, man. Okay? So everybody's focused on all that. Focus on drugs and dealing drugs and getting to the bag and rap music and all this other witchcraft, man. They're not focused on the Lord. They're not focused on what's happening in, in, in the world, man. You Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you don't even know what's happening in Ukraine and Russia. You don't know what's happening in the earth. You don't know about the wars that's coming. You don't know nothing, man. All you know is uh, entertainment, world star hip hop, man. And who gave you all these things? The so-called white man gave you all these things, man. So you're totally destroyed. You don't even know what the fuck is going on in the earth, man. Okay, and 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 and, and so-called white man gave you up to those strong delusions. Going back to Second Thessalonians, man. Strong delusions to make them believe a lie, man. Okay. But let's go back to this uh, Psalms 83. And it says, verse 5, and it says, They have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Yeah, they're confederate against the Lord. The WEF, the Wi-Fi, or uh, whatever it's called. World Economic, whatever the fuck that's called. They're consulted against the Lord and his people. They said, we don't need God no more. We're going to be the gods. We can make it rain. We don't need the Lord to make it rain. We can cause a drought. We don't need the Lord to cause a drought. Okay, it says the first one they mentioned, Psalms 83 and 6, the tabernacles of Edom. Who's Edom? Esau, Edom. That's the so-called white man. Man, right? And the Ishmaelites. Okay, who's the Ishmaelites, man? Those dothead Indians, man. <laughs> they run all the gas stations now all of a sudden, man. It says, it says of Moab and the Hagarenes. Moab and the so-called Chinese people, man. Gabal and Ammon, Ammon's, Ammon's the uh, Japanese, and Amalek, that's Esau Edom too, the grandson of Esau Edom, the Philistines, okay, and the inhabitants of Tyre, Tyre, and the Philistines were originally, uh, you know, Canaanites really, man, so-called Africans, okay, so all these nations are against us, man, that's why the Lord be sending earthquakes on them, he be, he be sending earthquakes, there's a bunch of earthquakes going forth in the earth, man. And all these people are getting earthquakes, they're getting uh, floods, being flooded out, man. The Lord's doing all those things for a reason, man. For the controversy of Zion, man. Okay? The Lord got beef with all you people, man, for what you did to us, man. 
Okay? It says, yeah, man. Yeah, so there's a bunch of people that, that the Lord has beef with on this earth, man. And let's go back to that Zechariah, and this is what the Lord going to do to you people, man. Zeph Zechariah chapter 14 and 12, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth, man. And that's, that's a nuke, man. Only thing that can make something consume away while they stand up on their feet is a nuclear warhead, man. That's the only thing that can make something uh, consume away while they stand up on their feet, man. It's a nuke. It says, yep. Yep. It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand up on their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth, man. And that's fire, man. The Lord clearly tells us in the book of uh, Second Edges. See, I had a bunch of notes, but I ain't even getting to them. I'm just going through the Spirit now. I only got like two notes off of there. Maybe I'll save it for another. And I called it uh, the Devil's Playground. I'll save it for it later on today or another day. We'll save it. But let me get this scripture real quick, man. Because fire is a spirit created for vengeance, man. Okay? Fire is a spirit created for vengeance. All these things, are they have spirits in them, man. Okay, so this is the book. Let's get the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 39. Right? No. Sirach. Yeah, Sirach, chapter 39 and 28. And it says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. So right now in America, all types of spirits are created for vengeance. And who created the spirits, man? The Lord, Yahweh Bashmi El Shai, is the creator of spirits, man. Okay, and he's letting these spirits go loose on America uh, and destroying a bunch of people, man. And on these other nations and destroying them, man. Fire, earthquakes, famine. Famine is a spirit created for vengeance, man. People are hungry. Different pestilences, different diseases and shit. Those are all spirits created for vengeance, man. The Lord doing it on purpose. Okay? Because these people worship, they worship different gods. They don't worship the Lord. Okay? That's why he said, what hast thou done to declare my statutes, man? You know? So there's spirits that are created for vengeance. The Lord got beef with this place, man. And let me pull that up real quick. Let me pull that up in St. Matthew's. And then we'll close off there, man. So the lesson is called, uh, America, the, uh, what I say? The, the devil's playground, man. Yeah. It's the devil's playground, man. And like the book of Job tells you, man, hey, the devil works for the Lord. So the Lord is causing up, causing all types of chaos in this place on purpose, man, so he can destroy you people, man. That's why you must get right with the Lord, man. You better hurry up and get right with him. Because ain't nothing else going to save you, man. The Lord wants to destroy you, man. Is it St. Matthew's chapter? Uh, might be. Let me look up Mark. Look up Mark. This is uh, Mark. No, let's get the Matthew's one. I like the Matthew's one better. Let's get Matthew's. St. Matthew and let's get St. Matthew real quick. Chapter 10. Yeah, this is St. Matthew's. Let me get this real quick. Chapter uh, 10 and 34, and it reads, 
And this is in red letter. It says, think not that I come to send peace on the earth. So the heavenly father's son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he said, think not that I come to send peace on this earth, man. Okay, this Christianity and all these other people in Christian churches that oh, the Lord is coming to save us all and, and all these things. And no, man, the Lord is coming to not send peace. He's coming to bring destruction. He's got beef with you people, man. That's why you see these spirits that are created for vengeance out here. Mother against mother, uh, children killing their parents, parents killing their children. All types of weird shit happening, man. Fathers killing their wives, wives killing their husbands. Okay, people are against each other, man. People don't even talk to each other. Families don't talk to each other. The Lord is causing division in this place, man. Okay, that's how you know he's visiting this place, man. You get all types of shootouts, people killing each other every single day. Road rage incidents, people killing each other, man. People stabbing the hell out of each other. You know, when they stab, they don't stab just one or two times. They keep stabbing like a hundred stabs. Spirits created for vengeance, man. Lock you. It's time to get going. That's that's my clue right there. But I'm going to finish this out. It says, St. Matthew chapter 10 and 34, Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, the Lord said, hey, come not to send peace, but a sword. And what's a sword do? A sword kills, man. Okay, and some of these swords are spirits created for vengeance. Going back to this, the book of Sirach. Okay, chapter 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fairy lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Now, who made the spirit? The Most High Yahweh made the spirits that are created for vengeance, man. That's why you see the movie Birds back in the day. These birds are gathered up in these different places. They be all up in the, the trees and, you know, they be in different parking lots. Just a hundred of hundred, hundred crows just sitting up in there. You, that's all you hear is, oh, 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 oh. You be scared as fuck, man. One day those things, like the Lord said, he's going to send four sword judgments, man. Okay? Those birds are going to come after people too, man. Those are spirits created for vengeance. They just waiting for the Lord to give them the word, man. Okay? Because this place is wicked, man. It says, it says, verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. And that's all you see in the earth. Like the scriptures in uh, Second Edge say, the, the, the fire shall off be sent out. You got churches burning down. All types of fires happening, man. Across the earth, nukes are uh, being built. That's fire, man. Going back to the book of Zach Zechariah chapter, we just read, man. Their, 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 their eyes shall consume away in their sockets, their tongues and their holes, man. Okay? Fire, man. Those are spirits created for vengeance, man. Those nukes aren't just sitting there for no reason, man. Those things are going to be used, man. Okay? You got all these things that are spirits created for vengeance. Kids killing their parents, parents killing their children. You know, there's all types of stories of uh, mothers killing their kids and shit just out of nowhere, man. Okay, stump, uh, stuffing their bodies inside of a, uh, it was inside of a freezer or something. Uh, you seen a story of a lady the other day? Uh, she killed her eight-year-old son, and she drove around, drove around with the body, man. Okay, there was a story the other day too with uh, a so-called uh, a white lady. She might have been an Israelite. She killed the two Jake children, man. Okay, you could tell that they was Jake. You know, she killed two two of her children. One of them was like six, and one of them was like eight two young men she killed them man okay so, so so that's the time we're living in man great vengeance great death man okay it's going out man so that fire and hell and famine and a bunch of people are hungry people are going hungry man okay people are making uh lifetime decisions you know either i'm gonna buy my insulin or i'm gonna get some food either i'm gonna pay my rent or i'm gonna get some food okay they they go without get some food so they can have a place to live and then they end up starving really man okay you know people ain't talking to any people anymore so you know they have an old lady in the house and the lady be dead for weeks and, and her, her kids won't even know about it man because they there's no communication man the scriptures tell you that these things are going to happen on the earth man okay no empathy amongst people man people don't have no uh no emotion no uh you know they're not calling their parents they're not you know checking in on people man Okay, so these things are happening for a reason, man. It says fire and hell and famine. 
and death. All these were created for vengeance, man. Teeth of wild beast. Okay, teeth of wild beast. You see all these uh, stories of bears in people's backyards, uh, wolves, coyotes, you know, raccoons attacking little children. Okay, you see all these things happening every single day, man. Okay, and it's going to pick up. Because like I said earlier, man, those zoos that are filled with those animals, you got people taking pictures of little kids next to the next to the uh, cage of a lion or a, 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 a gorilla or something, man. Those 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 animals are gonna get loose, man. They gonna get loose one day, man, and they gonna be coming after you, people, man. Especially you Edomites, man. Lord gonna make them come after you, man. Okay. It says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents. And the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word, man. So, hey, whenever the Lord say, hey, go and get them. Hey, man, these animals coming for you. Fire's coming for you. Those nukes is coming for America. Okay? Because this is the devil's playground, man. It's going to be destroyed off the face of the earth, man. Okay? It's going to be destroyed off the face of the earth, man. This place has got to go, man. It's too much, man. It's too much, man. So with that, man, hopefully this message was edifying. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakak, and Dush. Double honors to my apostles and others. Great millstone. And you will teach will be a good example to his brothers. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel scattered abroad. I'd like to say Shalom. And to water for being with me.